Welcome to another Mosaic project review a video. Today we're going to check out a Mosaic project. It was, I don't know if I can call it tabletop mosaic, but it was kind of a tabletop mosaic. We just wanted to make it look a bit different and more clean. With clean I mean the details, so let's get into it. So here, the location. We start with the location. Where was the uh, commission given like that and you know what I mean. So here is a store with some quite luxury and expensive um, furnitures and stuff all custom made. You know what I'm saying? And um, this um, company has commissioned me, is this the white word, um, to make a very special looking mosaic um, covered table. The table is actually right here. I don't know if we can call it table. It's some kind of a different. It's kind of a huge too. But um, this is the store. This is another mosaic which I made also for this guys. You can see here some kind of a sign of mine, my signature. Whatever, we're going to talk about this another time. So here once again the store. It's an amazing, it was an amazing store really with some interesting good located on one of um, the most expensive avenues in Istanbul and the table is right here. Oh, can we catch the price? No. I don't know. It's not my business. You know, it works like, okay, we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. So let's get into it. This was the location. We start with, let me check the plan. The marketing process. Okay. Let's check out the marketing process. Primary marketing. Oh, there is nothing inside. But I remember one thing. If you watched that the earlier video, the Mosaic Mural project at a fashion company, a clothing company, the that it's the same architect who brought me to this store means when you have finalized you know a successfully work then it starts to flow somehow the 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 architect was satisfied with my work it was on time almost and stuff and so then after a while they come up with another project okay so this work was giving me i was introduced to that store by the same architect um, and any in marketing no good in marketing for newcomers on this channel in marketing I call it I call it in marketing there is I'm sure another way to call that it's like when you have a commission and you start to satisfy the client more and more to make sure that he will call you again if you will have ever any other mosaic commission for you that was quick what next i guess we will go on to the design so i only have this let me show you this way hold on you know it's worse when you speak english and you try to search in the turkish language i don't know why this is in turkish okay here we go that's a design made on a computer you know that is the table surface, okay, that brown area. And I said, let us just put the mosaic right in the middle like that. You know, not, co not to cover the whole thing. I just want to have it like, you know, 40% mosaic and the rest uh, should be stay as we see in here. Why I said that, this is kind of important if you pay attention to this right now. Because people are not uh, familiar, 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 how you call that? You know, to mosaic that much as we do believe, as mosaic artists. People are more familiar with wood, you know, a wood table. If a table is expensive, it's expensive, it should be wood. This is what people believe, 
that's why I'm also have this location folder you know I'm talking about Istanbul right now what do like rich people like you know it's different in different countries that's why it's important to also to mention the location of this work it's like the the culture if you know what I mean so people in Istanbul are not so in love to see a whole mosaic top okay but they're in love already with the wood thing so that's why to create kind of a balance in his mind to um, to the potential client I decide to let most of the, the surface in wood and just make a movement here just create a movement whereby using mosaic and also almost like you know almost oriental I don't know if I can call it oriental or ornamental I'm not sure and I mean in colors and you know stuff and shapes it looks um, similar to the culture here in Istanbul and this is how the design was created I could I could uh, create a whole thing in mosaic but as I told you it's not it's not a good idea so people will get shocked and they are like oh what is this and but they are not buying it if you know what I mean because their habitats is more working like has seeing a wood on a table and maybe some stuff like that okay I hope this was um, easy to understand let's check out the workshop so we have here the material to use it to create the mosaic project we have the studio is where I've created this mosaic and we have tools used to create this mosaic work let's start with the studio doink no studio at all because at this time I created my stuff at home in one of the rooms in our apartment because I don't know why this is what most of especially mosaic artists are facing the truth and the reality there is not much commissions out there why why you should ask yourself why okay it was in my home uh, I mean in my house in my apartment that's why I don't have any photos but let's check out material used to create this mosaic project may we will see some stuff in here thanks God I made some pictures okay and let's check out some evidence no we're gonna hold on excuse me for my we're gonna go this way again let me start with 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 this picture here okay some I will call it very nice colors I'm not a big lover of you know color I don't care about color that much but ouch in this case in this photo is better in this case um, it looks good so what I did actually you know I just changed it's a part of the design what I'm saying right now a design which comes randomly sometimes and when your client allows you to play with the design during the creating that's amazing so I should normally go ahead with the same blue here you know I jumped into that blue that's another blue okay I believe it looks like another blue I'm not sure but then I jump to that brown here to that color that cream color and here the same you know I changed the color I don't think that this was something planet and change from turquoise to blue which gives it a effect kind of an effect it looks different it's, it's not a big deal excuse me okay I'm not coming here with some look what I did in here no it's just um, ask your client you know let him allow you somehow allow you to play with the design during the crea creation 
okay, during the creating. Like in here, you know, some changes and stuff, which looks good. So what we have in here, I see this painter plastic. I don't see the design. Where's the paper? I have no clue right now. We will check it together. Here I see mosaic mesh in blue. We can use color it mosaic mesh um, as soon we are not dealing with transparent glass tiles, if you know what I mean. This is ceramic, ceramic tile, so it's not a big deal that blue won't show up right here. But some people are, you know, I don't know if why they're doing like that. If they don't know about that or they do it by knowing that this blue will come out when you are using transparent tiles. What's going on with the mouse? Oh, it's getting bigger. Okay, that's cool. So, we have the mosaic mesh. We have the painter plastic. That's my table, I believe. Okay. But here, we have this wood plate. Can you see that? That's the wood plate. I will explain you why we have an extra wood plate. Can you see that? That's another color. And that's actually a part of the table, you know, a part of the construction. So once again, this table, this wood plate here is a part of the materials belongs to the table. Next, here we have something in detail. Okay, what I remember, I want to share this. These tiles are, I believe, six millimeters or so, six or seven. Very, you know, I believe 20 by 20 tiles in centimeters. And they was, you know, when you use, as soon as you use your ceramic mosaic nipper, they will get cut like this, which is actually terrible, but in this design, it looks um, good somehow, you know. No client will accept this kind of a cut. You see that? It looks like a mouse was there at night and was trying to eat a piece of it. You see the wood here again? Okay, the mesh. Where is the painter plastic right now? Oh, it's right here. Okay, whatever. Next. So this is where... Oh, okay, I got it. So we can't see the, the paper, the drawing in here. Because I believe I took the paper out. Because I already finished the lines. And there was just this... Uh, this empty areas left and you don't need any drawing for that so as soon as I finished it I just took that paper you know the drawing out and I just had painter plastic the nylon and stuff so here we can see why is this not getting bigger okay you know I'm trying to fill out the empty areas Okay, you can see once again here how, you know, it's right here. The mouse is getting bigger. That's cool. Let's try it again. Don't, it doesn't work in circle. Okay, right here we can see how bad the tiles are getting cut. It, but it's, uh, it looks good somehow. Here you see, you know, a lot of this is regular ceramic tiles as you can see in here. Okay. No special techniques used in here, just uh, randomly, you know, fill the area, that's it. Next, um, we have gaps, we have a lot of gaps in here, right here, and um, but it's acceptable. Here, oh, something very important, you see how amateur the finishes it should you know can you please focus on this area you see there is no straight line it's even making a turn 
Okay, pay attention to this area. It's making a turn. Let's go in and out, and here is some empty. You know, you see that like that. Normally, it should look like you know, like like in here. You know, a straight finish. Okay, a straight finish. And why this is so? This is the mosaic. Not here.